Oh, oh, we got a cool little question that's going to make uh, some headaches later. I don't know if you ever remember topics in um, uh, modern physics classes or if you've ever taken one, but polarization was a big one later on. And uh, now we get to dive in to see what that means in a more uh, constructive manner, I feel. Um, so... They say that equation 9.36 um, describes the most general linearly polarized wave on a string. The linear or plane polarization, so-called because the displacement is parallel to the fixed vector n hat, results from the combination of horizontally and vertical polarized waves of the same phase. If the two components of components are of equal amplitude but out of phase by 90 degrees say delta v for vertical equals zero and delta h for horizontal equal 90 the result is a circularly polarized wave in that case a at a fixed val at a fixed point z show that the string moves in a circle about the z-axis does it go clockwise or counterclockwise as you looked on the axis towards the origin, how would you construct a wave circling the other way? In optics, the clockwise is called right circular polarization, and counterclockwise is, well, left circular polarization. Sketch the string at time t equals zero, and see how would you shake the string in order to produce a circularly polarized wave. Okay, so you may, you, I, have a feeling we've all done this as ch as kids playing um but it'll be a fun exercise so for the formulations what we have to remember is that the function of f of z of t is, is equal to the real part of the um f tilde notation and the a tilde is equal to a e to the i delta okay so again with all this complex it is definitely a headache a lot to keep track of and by now, I'm sure we're all tired of writing at tilde. Thank you, copy and paste. However, what this is saying for the vertical and hor horizontal polarizations is the FZ or FV for the vertical is equal to the A tilde E to the I KZ minus omega T in the X hat. Okay. Similarly for H, except in the Y hat. Now let's play with how to work this construction. All right, so first and foremost, we need to write the wave function as a real function. Hence, f z of t is equal to the real part of the exponentials, which, of course, we can break up that a tilde into a e to the i delta times the exponential i k z minus omega t. Clearly, now the a can come through. We combine the exponentials into uh, one exponential and then now from that one exponential we break it down into the cosine and sine terms Thank you Euler which breaks us down one more time into a cosine wave Here we see that the function is equal to a cosine kz minus omega t plus delta Applying this to the vertical and horizontal uh, polarization forms we see that um, We get f of z f of v rather is equal to the same a cosine, but except we're told that the delta or phase angle is zero for the vertical and 90 for the horizontal, which as you know, a 90, a 90 degree shift in cosine waves are just a negative sine wave. Hence, we see that we have fv is equal to a cosine and fh is equal to negative a sine in the x and y directions respectively. Okay, <laughs> now here's where the cool part comes in. Notice that the amplitude form, or the amplitude is from fv dot fv plus fh dot fh. So this tells us that we have uh, f squared v plus f squared h. And if we square them both, you know, let it pass through. You get an a squared out of both. And then you factor the a squared out and you're left with a cosine squared and a sine squared. Whoa, 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 look at that. Pythagorean theorem comes in now, or the Pythagorean identity, rather, and that equals 1. So you're saying that the fv squared plus fh squared equals a squared? Well, this is the equation of a circle. Who would have thought? So the vector sum f equal fv plus fh 
lies on a circle of radius a. Dude, that is fascinating. And at some time t equals zero, uh, since that's what we're asked for, we see that f is equal to a cosine kz x hat minus a sine kz y hat. And if we let t equal pi over two omega, just some time later, we see that we cancellations, cancellations, and now you see we're left with a pi over two phase shift. Uh, so after that, we see that cosine kz minus pi over two goes to sine, and then negative sine kz minus pi over two goes to positive cosine. So with that, since we're going from a positive negative to a positive positive, this tells us that the circle, that evidently the circle is, it circles counterclockwise. Okay, so positive negative to positive positive. Um, if you're looking at like a unit circle, you can see how that's gonna keep working. And so to make the wave circling in the other direction, we need to have that delta H is equal to negative 90 degrees so that we turn it in the other direction. And if we sh and see if we wanna make this, then we just shake it around in a circle instead of up and down. Here we have a little diagram that shows you uh, at time t equals zero where we're at, and then at time t equal pi over two omega. And if we wanna graph what this looks like, we have a really cool graph. So again, the direction of propagation goes in the z direction. We have some polarization in the x direction and some polarization in the y direction, right, as given. Okay, so since we're zero polarized in the vertical and 90 polarized in the horizontal, we see what happens at time t equals zero and it spirals out in a counterclockwise rotation down the z-axis. That is freaking cool.